Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, and Moon, and Rising. Sorry. I also want to apologize, obviously, for the quality here. But as you guys can see, I'm actually uploading on my laptop as I've been having one <laughs> obstacle after the other. And I made it my mission as a stubborn Capricorn that I am to upload these videos for you guys in the beginning of the month uh, to prepare you guys and give you guys the messages for this month as we are celebrating May the 1st. So let's get right into your reading, Leos. Uh, I've already shuffled the deck. I've already cut it for time purposes. So let's just uh, let's just jump right in. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm tongue-tied. So let's get into your reading, Leos. So in regards to your element of air, communication, how you'll be communicating with other people and those around you for the month of May 2018, you have, wow, 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 wow. Okay. Yeah, the high priestess and the high priestess is definitely talking about um, being a little bit mysterious, uh, being a bit, um, perhaps you could come off to other people as a bit intimidating, uh, someone not very easy to read for this month. Uh, for those of you guys that are currently single and are trying to meet other people, try the best you can not to come off as, you know, a bit uh, intimidating. <laughs> and the best way to do so is crack a smile once in a while, Leo. Um, the high priestess is definitely talking about, um, you know, being very intuitive for this month, but also as a communication sector, uh, spear, what this represents is you, other people seeing you or viewing you as very mysterious, uh, maybe a bit standoffish, maybe a bit too serious. Uh, so try the best you can to be your normal flirtatious self, a Leo, um, smile again, like I said, crack a smile once in a while. Don't be so serious. Um, as I feel that you guys are definitely coming off a bit strong for the month of May, 2018. In regards to your earth and finances, the element of earth, you guys have the six of pentacles and the six of pentacles is definitely talking about timing, but it also speaks about, um, abundance coming into your sphere, uh, for the month of May, 2018. So for some of you guys, it could be new incentives. For some, for others of you guys, if you guys are currently going through a review, you're definitely going to be offered that position or that um, that increase that you've been wanting or desiring. As people have noticed your work ethic and the you know the effort that you've been putting into what you're doing, so definitely an increase in your finances. Uh, for those of you guys that are currently unemployed, now's the time to start putting in those applications as um, the outcome is very high for them to communicate with you and want to offer you a new opportunity or a new job. Uh, the Six of Pentacles, again, like I said, definitely does speak about timing. So be patient with your finances. Uh, what I mean by that is if you've been waiting on a loan or if you've been waiting on some type of money, something coming your way, it's definitely coming. Do not think that there's any blockages. It is just timing and universe at play at the moment, but know and understand that it will definitely be given to you, okay? In regards to your fire element, the challenge for the month of May 2018, you have the hermit. Sorry, the high priest. I don't know why I said the hermit. High priest. So the challenge here, I feel that for some of you guys, you're going to be challenged with your belief system. So this is the scenario that I'm seeing. I'm almost sensing like you're going to question something that has to do with your religion or with your belief system uh, for the month of May. And this could be actually going to someone for spiritual advice as well. But I feel that when you do that, or if for those of you guys that do experience this in May, where you go to someone for spiritual advice, um, they're going to challenge your belief system. And I feel that this is a good thing. It's a very positive thing because it's going to expand your awareness. It's going to expand your self understanding of the universe and the energies around us. So this is definitely a good thing for, for, for you guys, you know, more than anything, a lot of the times we could be set on certain belief systems that, you know, keep us boxed in and don't really push us to our limit and to our full potential. And there's nothing wrong with detaching yourself from dogmas or things that have been taught to you that are wrong that kind of prevent you from growth and prevent you from certain things because perhaps you were taught that it's just not the right thing to do. Now, don't get this message uh, you know, confused. I don't mean go out there and do things you're not okay with, but I mean in the sense of 
if you do go to someone for spiritual counsel or spiritual advice, do not shut down their ideas or their advice very quickly. I ask you to sit still with that type of advice for a while, and then you will be able to make the correct decision. Um, but I feel that it's very necessary for your self-growth and expansion as I feel you a bit caged in or um, boxed in. And a lot of the times we are our own limit. So you need to understand that on a deeper level. In regards to the water, your element of emotions, you have the page of wands and the page of wands is definitely talking about being very tied for some of you Leos out there that have children being very tied or spending a lot of time with your children, um, wanting to invest and wanting to uh, spend, you know, that uh, family time, that quality time with your children as the loving Leo mother or father that you are. Obviously, it runs in your nature. But I feel that May is going to be very important for some of you guys. It could be that you're traveling or taking your children on vacation, something of uh, wanting to expand and wanting to experience new experiences with your children. So that's definitely a beautiful thing. For those of you guys that don't have children, uh, the page of wands could represent you communicating with another fire sign. A fire sign would be an Aries Leo like yourself or a Sagittarius. Um, and being very brutal, brutally honest with the communication that you're having with them. It uh, doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic partner. It can also be a brother, a sister. Um, it is a general reading, so it just depends. Um, but I definitely do see a lot of communication and honest communication more than anything. And finally, your spirit's advice for the month of May 2018. You have, wow, beautiful card seal. You have the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Wands is new beginnings, but it also speaks about new passions. So Leo's your spirit's advice. Be spontaneous. Be 